third installment of the CXBJJ uh, tournament vlog. So right now we're in the absolute division. Uh, this is the first match and it's going to be a pretty entertaining one. So I'm just going to shut up and let you guys watch this. So here in the second round of the Absolute Vision, um, for me, this really just showed me how family-friendly jiu-jitsu is, and we always call jiu-jitsu the gentle art, and I think it's really demonstrated here in this match. So if Superman putting me in a guillotine wasn't bad enough, um, his next move was, well, that. Uh, no hard feelings to you, man, but God, that did not feel good. <laughs> round of the absolute division they decided to pair me up against aquaman himself um the first thing he's gonna do is hit me with a bus and just deck me um i'm actually facing johnny he trains with me at zr team apex he's gonna get two points for the takedown i'm gonna recover to close guard and then just hit one of the basic triangle setups over the arm and then push that hand through and crunch my leg on the top um from here He's going to turn sideways and actually give me a better angle on the triangle. I'm going to underhook his leg, uh, gable grip it, and just begin to crunch. I'm going to get under him just enough to roll into a mounted triangle. He's unfortunately going to be able to keep that arm very tucked in to where I can't peel it off. So I'm just going to resort into tightening that triangle and making him tap. I've literally recorded the voiceover for this thing about 30 times now. <sighs> so, you guys notice how we threw that call tie up and then I went for the arm drag. Unfortunately, it did not work, but it's the thought that counts. From here, I'm gonna go for a single leg 
he's going to pull guard. I'm not going to get any points, but I'm able to work right into my guard passing. Unfortunately, I'm not able to maintain the pass, and he's able to step up and get back to his feet. I'm going to shoot another single leg, this time getting points for the takedown and working right back into guard passing. Um, he's doing a good job at framing on the hip. I'm not really sure to break the frames. That's something that, as soon as the tournament ended, I went right up to Gabriel and we've been working on that pretty much all week since the tournament. Um, he's going to go for that Kimura grip and I'm just going to keep my arm straight and my elbow tucked in so he's not able to maintain the grip. He's going to two on one my left arm, um, opening up a step over pass for me. As soon as I hit this, I'm going to force that top leg down and try to hop over to the other side. Um, I go for the cross face again. He's just going to frame on my arm. Still not quite sure how to break that yet, but we're working on it. Uh, from here, he's going to get into a 50-50 and go for the straight ankle. Able to escape the straight ankle by one, maintaining my grip on his hand, and then two, pushing on his thigh to get my foot out of danger. Um, as soon as I'm able to get out of this, I go for another single leg. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to fall on my back and try to set up a De La Hiva. One crucial thing I've learned from this tournament is don't set up De La Hiva without grips. As you'll see, he goes for the straight ankle. I underhook his leg like an idiot and fall back to my death. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know if you've been keeping up with uh, me and the channel, this video is coming out a few days late. I'm preparing to go to Atlanta this weekend for my first IBJJF tournament, and I've had a lot of stuff going on. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.